All right. That's right. Get up and salute your flag and all that stuff because damn it, we gotta bring we gotta bring patriotism back to this country. We lost it a long time ago and it's sad. It really is. Here we go. I got a I got something here for you guys. Okay. I, I don't believe we ever went to the moon. I really don't. And you get a lot of skeptics out. But, you know, more and more people are. If you follow the polls, I guess, whatever studies they do or whatever, uh, more and more people are becoming skept, uh, skeptical about our, our trips to the moon. And uh, here's one thing that I don't quite understand. Why is it that we can't... Th there's never been... A, at least I don't think so. Remember when we were sending monkeys up into space? <laughs> Remember we sent monkeys up in space and stuff? Well, whatever happened to the monkeys that went up in space? Did we ever really follow up on them? And how far out did they go? You know, stuff like that. Here's my point. Um, it's the Van Allen radiation belt that's out there, and that is the big, that's the big uh, kink in the iron for these people who are behind, uh, you know, who are believing we went. Uh, because a lot of experts say we can't make it to the Van Allen, Van Allen um, uh, radiation belt without we'd get killed, we die. So okay, here we go. If you really want to check up on this and really just get it all said and done with, send a bunch, send a couple monkeys up, send them right into the Van Allen belt and see what happens. Okay, and monitor it. Simple, done deal. Or they could take their big cameras that they got now, telescopes. Hell, they're out there, uh, whatever. And this one guy said, hey, turn the camera back on the moon. We should be able to see all sorts of shit, gizmos and gadgets on the moon with the powerful telescopes that we got nowadays. Nope, that ain't done. I wonder why. But anyway. <laughs> la, 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 la. Hey, guys, you know what? Uncle Larry's really excited. Not Uncle Larry. I'm going to have to change that name because it sounds a lot like Uncle Larry. But actually, it's Lunker Larry. And Lunker Larry, he says that uh, he's getting ready because, you know, what do we got, guys? About 10, 11 days to open her? Yeah. Yeah. I'm telling you, we're going to be catching spring crappies in the end of June. And all the way, <laughs> and some of these lakes aren't officially, uh, the DNR has not officially gave the go-ahead and said that some of these lakes are not officially uh, uh, ice out. It's just yet. Yeah. Some of them got, uh, so we got to kind of watch that, guys, when you get out there fishing, be careful. Because you always get some kind of nut that will go out there. And God bless him. I mean, you know, probably get a rod and reel and he just can't wait. So he'll go out there and dink around on the ice and then cast into the open water. Uh, you got to be careful out there, guys. That's right. Do, 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 do. More information. Yes. Oh, I got to do a few commercials. And yes, I am going to play a few rock and roll songs. Most certainly. You betcha. Okay, what do we got here? We're going to have a segment on the show when, when the old... And you know Julia Child, she's been on the show a couple of times. Her and Betty Crocker got their got their book together. It's called, it's called uh, Cooking with Mary Jane. And that will be coming out uh, this summer. And you're only going to hear... You know, you got to get it through uh, Captain Boomer show. And but yet I'm still waiting for somebody to contact me. And But yet no, nobody wants to. Yeah. Anyway, I got my, my email address out there. No, in all seriousness, though, this is, you know, this is for fun. But in all seriousness, I would, really would love some feedback from some people out there that heard my insanity, whatever. And, uh, yeah, yeah, well, my, uh, my email's out there. It's at bukudinkydow69 at gmail.com. And I really would like to hear from somebody out there. And I do hear from my, my cousin and my brother. But that's not, uh, and I and I love him for it. Oh, by the way, I got to get this out there. Thank you, cousin Susie. You know you're the one, babe. <whistles> yep, there you go, babe. I'm gonna have to get some more new batteries in my my uh, gizmos here. You know, I don't really help me, guy. He's pretty strong yet. You know. Oh, Jesus! Oh my God! Bob, Bob, are you there? Oh. Hey, you know what? The door just opened. 
Bob is Bob ain't there. Oh, all right. Now that is bizarre. The door just opened on itself by itself. Now that's not right. Now if I if I get, don't have enough problems, huh? Now I got a haunted studio. Jesus God. <laughs> Anyway, we got to go on here, and we're going to be doing a little bit of, uh, yes, we do. Do we, cheat them and how attorneys at law? They were the attorneys for the world-famous Three Stooges. Hey, Bo, hey, Bo. So, uh, I look at it this way. If they're good enough for the Three Stooges, they should be good enough for us, right? Yes, so get a hold of them, and you get a free cervical collar. The only this month of May, yes, and Lunker Larry's Rough Fish Rub, don't forget guys, makes any and all fish taste like walleye. That's all you have to know, I mean, because after all, that's the only fish that anybody really gives a shit about, right? So why not have a product out there that, that caters to to just uh, that uh, notion right there, that that's just make everything taste like walleye. Done deal, I mean, come on, why I gotta think of everything? <laughs> Jesus, no wonder I got a headache. Where's my Tylenol? Uh, the Tylenol. Give me some hell doll. Anyway, uh, my oldest, one of my, my uh, one of my older one is Dr. Lance Boyle. Dr. Lance Boyle has his new libido oil. Yes, he does, ladies, but they, there is a disclaimer. You got to read the super fine print, and it says, ladies, use it sparingly. All right. I got the wife, uh, for a, Wait a minute, when Mother's Day coming up? Yeah. Is it? Yeah. For Mother's Day, I got, well, I can't get her Mother's Day. Okay. May for our anniversary. I got her the uh, super economy size. It's a uh, five gallon with a pump on it, whatever. All right. Oh, I already told you about Forrest Gump. That's right. Okay. What do we got here? Oh, yeah, guys. You want to check into the all new Twister game. The all new Twister game. Is very personal because it is the all new, only a two person twister game where you can get up close and personal by playing this game and make new friends. And you know what I'm saying? God only knows where it's going to end up, but this is, uh, yeah, it's really up close and personal. And you won't need, and you won't throw your back out, you know, or pull a groin, or you know, screw your hip up, or whatever, trying to, you know, reach, you know. I mean, come on, some of those damn stretches are like seven, eight feet. Give me a break. At our age, that's why we need, the boomers need, that up close, and it's only about three foot square. So, come on. Anyway, Ole and Lena's got their fart fighter mattress coming out, guys. It absorbs unwanted odors during the night, and it's got the patented charcoal filtration system built into the mattress. You might want to check that out. Okay, so... Oh, what are we going to do here? I'll tell you what we're going to do here. You know, I, I'm not certain what we're going to do here. <coughs> Jesus, God, did I run? What? Oh, yeah, that cat's out of the rocking chair again. That's what happened there. Anyways, I got a little. Well, let's see what we got here. I had one here. Oh, here it is. I found it. All right, here we go. How about a little Creedence Clearwater Revival, baby? Oh, yeah. Creedence Clearwater, baby. Here we go. Well, it's bound to take your life. There's a bad moon on the rise. Yeah, I popped in a croaky one again, didn't I? What a maroon. I don't know. I'm sorry, guys. I'm. Oh, that's right. I got my brand new Grand Funk Railroad. I'm. May I have to turn this down? So I'll use this as just a background kind of thing. 
because we all love credence. But anyway, I got some of this stuff out of the way, and I'm glad I did. And anyways, we're moving on, and like I said, it's not going to be long, guys. We've got opening day coming, baby. Oh, yeah. Okay, and I've got to take, uh, well, yeah, this is a brand new sponsor I got. It's called Sea Monkey World. You guys remember the sea monkeys, right? Those little things that, I don't know, they look more like seahorses, I think, than whatever. I don't know why they come up with monkeys. But anyway, Sea Monkey, remember those things? Oh, man, they were big when we were kids. Sea Monkey World, you can order yours today. And um, and you might say, oh, big deal, a sea monkey. Aha, my friends. All right, I'll tell you why, Mr. Smarty Pants. And Pants says, um, Sea Monkey World, because this is not just your normal regular run-of-the-mill sea, sea monkeys that we had as kids. The Japanese, in their infinite wisdom, once again, their genesis, genesis, genetics is, what do you know the guys that do stuff like that, that alter like stuff and see in the movies all the time, monsters and stuff they make from genesis or something, genetics. And anyways, what they did was they come up with a system and an injection for these little teeny you know how they do that? It's amazing what they can do nowadays. Especially the Japs, they get carried away. And here's a perfect example. They are now growing three pound sea monkeys. Yes. Yes. Three pound sea monkeys. And uh, you know, I. That's right. Three pound sea monkeys are going to be out there. And I, I want to say when? Well, uh, what? Oh, this summer. Yeah, this summer. They will be coming out. Yes. And you can order your catalog here, baby. That's right, and I gotta I gotta get a plug in for Boris and Natasha. Boris and now and Natasha. Boris has his own uh, bed and breakfast up there, Frostbite Falls. Yes, bed and breakfast. Boris and Natasha's bread and breakfast in Frostbite Falls. Yes, it's simply called Kill the Squirrel. Kill the Squirrel. That's Boris and Natasha. Okay, boy, I'm covering a lot right now, aren't I? Man, I'm going like a bat out of hell. And, uh, what's this? Oh, yes! Today is National Boomer Day, Boomers. It is. Yes, it is. You're not going to hear this anywhere else. Because nobody gives a shit about us. I do. Okay, here we go. It's National Boomer Day. And what that means is, wear something tie-dye, guys. Have a sit-in. Hell yeah. Make the peace sign. Make a peace sign. And at least... Last but certainly not least, smoke a joint. Oh yeah, baby. Wow, that's some good shit, man. That was pretty good shit. Anyway, uh, <laughs> oh here's my brand new sponsor too. You guys heard of Mega Millions with your lottery where you win money? Well, this particular one is called. This one is called. Med, M-E-D, Meta Millions, and it's a brand new lottery game where 100 families are going to win their meds for life. It's a, it's estimated at a $25 million value, so there you go. I think it's pretty cool. At the rate these medications for us are going up, yes, so that's going to be out there. A lottery game called Meta Millions. And where you, where 100 families are going to win medications for life, that is, I think it's kind of cool myself. Yes, it is. Oh, am I? Well, I can't. Well, wait a minute. Oh, the wheels on the bus go round and round. Oh, I get some of the stuff from my granddaughters and stuff. I love the. You guys remember Red Rover? We played Red Rover, didn't we? Yes, we did. Well. We should have had our own version of because you know all these kids nowadays crazy they got extreme this extreme that Christ they're hanging by their ankles or jumping off fucking bridges for the Christ's sake with ankle things strapped to them bungee things Jesus God I don't what are they thinking Buku Dinky Dow Diddy Mao Anyway uh so. But I think we should have, when we played Red Rover, you get the fattest kid. We all had a chubby kid, did we not? And we teased him and stuff, but you know, we didn't get to the point where it was actually even called bullying. You know, that's yeah, just the way it was. Of course, when we had bullying back when we were kids, you know, you took care of bullying. You know how that was. 
uh, you confronted him and you either got your ass